I'm 40 years old, have two kids, been married for 20 years. I've always been very ambitious, achieved a lot in business, constantly inventing something and working hard. My wife, on the other hand, is quiet, no special interests, but she always gladly supported me in everything. I got married very quickly, after six months of acquaintance, after I broke up with another woman. I loved her, wanted to prove something to someone. Life took a turn, moved to America with her. We had children. I loved her, but I wanted to be with a more energetic, fiery girl. I was bored with her, but I got used to her. We were very close in everything and went through poverty and emigration. Whatever I said or did, she was always willing to follow me. But I always lacked some drive and novelty. Life was boring and I had no energy in bed. And I was attracted to other women and I started cheating on her. I didn't want to leave her or break up the family. I had very brief affairs and she did not know or suspect about them. I worked a lot, as I thought, for the family. There was a lot of stress and these one-day relationships helped me cope with it. I came home happy. This went on for about five years. Then I started a new business. It was hard. My second child was born. I started giving her less attention because of work, not because of the relationship. We used to argue a lot, like any family. Then I accidentally found out that she was corresponding with my boss at work. He had been sending her intimate photos and they had been writing to each other for about six months. She denied that they were intimate, more like virtual relationships or something like that. I wanted to divorce, she begged me not to, then started to manipulate the kids and I gave up. I convinced myself that they had no physical relationship. I quit my job and moved to another state Wanted to live there and visit her, but she went after me with the kids. I decided to try living as is. I started all over again, somewhere else. The relationship became more like before. I had uh, emotionless one-night stands, just for the bed, but she didn't know. I thought about her cheating and often talked about it. I think she was trying to contact and follow this person's life, but he didn't want anything to do with her. I saw it. Then I fell in love with a girl 15 years younger than me. I didn't tell her right away and said that I love this woman and want to divorce. It completely threw her off. She didn't want to let me go at any cost. Started putting pressure on the kids again. The kids suffered. I gave up and broke up with this girl. We had a romance for three months. I was upset because I was in love with this girl. He broke up with her, immersed himself in work and just worked day and night. Relations with the wife somehow got restored, but worsened mostly because of me. She refused to sleep with me. I fought with her, I started the scandals, I was depressed. She wanted constantly, climbed into my bed. But as soon as she achieved this, she lost interest, until I distanced myself again. And I needed it and it provoked my minor scandals. I felt she didn't love me and all the feelings were superficial. Maybe I was shallow and obsessed with my feelings about that girl and work, but I was unhappy with her. Then I found out that she has a lover. A month appeared after I returned to her after that girl. She went to his house almost every day when I was working. They went to restaurants, even went on vacation, and she paid for him. He is 10 years younger than her, an illegal immigrant in America, without money and a home. She lied to him that she was divorced, had no children, was very rich, and told him that she was 10 years younger than she actually is. She had a long, very emotional affair, about a year, until I found out by accident. I left home and filed for divorce. She had a fit, saying she loves only me, that I'm to blame for everything. Then I found out that her mother and sister contributed to all this. They advised her to divorce. They wanted her to keep half of everything acquired. And they wanted to move to America and live on everything ready. 
her lover also wanted to marry her to get green card money. I thought and decided to go back. She would have taken my kids, brought them to her lover's house, brought her mother, took most of what I earned over these years, and according to American laws, I would also be paying for a long and a lot. She told me everything, gave me her phone with messages, and agreed to everything, just to keep me and avoid divorce. I talked to her lover, and he turned out to be a very cowardly and slippery guy. I haven't seen him anymore. Our honeymoon started, and it's still going on. I started giving her attention, and she's happy, but I don't trust her. Can't forgive her betrayal. Can't believe she was capable of cheating and lying to me for so long. This is the second betrayal, and it might happen again. And I'm thinking, how am I better than her? I cheated too. Maybe I cheated because I felt her coldness. I would have divorced if not for the kids. But she will ruin our life. What to do? Pretend it's a honeymoon. Raise kids for another 10 years. But I don't love her. I'm used to. To her. I feel trapped. I would leave. But I would lose my kids and everything I've built in my life. But on the other hand, I miss her. Anyone been in a similar situation? Advise me what to do. I'm 50 years old. My wife is 11 years younger than me. I've known my wife for 10 years. We were just friends the first year. Then we got married after a year of living together. Three years ago, a daughter was born. We lived pretty well. Sometimes quarreled, but quickly made up. But after the birth of our daughter, fights started happening more often and were more emotional. I kept attributing everything to postpartum depression, to the constant sleepless nights because of the baby. But over the last year, she has increasingly been threatening to divorce, secretly looking for an apartment to move, and has changed her image. She grew her hair long, plumped up her lips, and got lash extensions. So, I started wondering if you've got someone, to which she, as always, responded with a scandal, as to how I could think such a thing about the most honest and faithful woman in the world. But my doubts did not disappear and I started noticing inconsistencies in her stories about the past day. In communication with friends, my suspicions about her behavior grew stronger every day. We mostly communicate via video call because I work in shifts. Two to three months in Europe, then a month at home relaxing. And during my last visit, I gifted her a new phone on our wedding anniversary. She immediately started using it, the old one she put aside and did not clear it right away. Apparently counting on the lock password, which I managed to pick by chance. Naturally, I decided to take advantage of this. Found there an audio diary, which she had been keeping for the last two years. Plus an erotic story about her adventures and a few screenshots of her love letters. Everything I heard and read shook me to the core. It feels like this was all written and spoken by a completely different woman. Not my wife whom I trusted 100%. There were her anxieties about how much she loves him, that they are made for each other. They understand each other at a half word. They have the same outlook on life and common interests. Just a few words about me, how she hates me, that same day. I presented all of the evidence. At first, she tried to wriggle out, saying that she was recording phrases for her future book and these were just her fantasies. But when I played her an audio where she named specific names and real action, she gave up and decided to tell everything honestly. But even in this honest story, she managed to lie again. It all started six years ago. We have a couple. Sasha and Dasha, who are friends, they are about the same age as my wife. We usually spent all holidays and joint rest together. I started being friends with them long before our wedding. One day, while relaxing in a sauna, Dasha and I decided to joke around like old friends. She sat on my lap, I hugged her. My wife has a grudge, so she decided to get back at Dasha in the same way, but only after six months. But as she says, she got too absorbed and fell in love with Sasha. 
and ever since I went on a business trip and Dasha went to another city for work, they spent all the time together. And even when we were not traveling, but for example, I went to my garage with Dasha to repair her car. They managed to use this time for their pleasure. And when we all met at the same party, they pretended nothing had happened. And even the birth of our daughter, who looks a lot like me, I have no doubt that she is mine. They were not stopped. In response to why she didn't admit everything to me and divorce, my wife said they tried to leave the family four times in six years. But something always got in the way. First he didn't want to leave, then she didn't, and vice versa. According to her, they have been fighting for the last six months because Sasha finally decided to stay in the family when she had already decided to divorce me. But they continued to communicate about work. After hearing all this story, I just wanted to get up and go somewhere far away from all this. But I still love her too much and I love our child even more. So we decided to try and start all over from scratch. Only it turned out to be not so simple, although there are results, for instance. She stopped blaming me for all her sins, remorse is slowly coming, that she did something wrong. Undergoing therapy with a psychologist to understand oneself, to stop loving Sasha and to build new relationships with me. I see how she's trying, he says words of love that I haven't heard for many years, but I just don't trust her anymore. I want to believe, but as soon as I remember how she deceived me for six straight years, all desires evaporate, plus her statement that she will love Sasha till her last day, and if he struggles and everyone abandons him, she will assist him. She also said that she can't promise that it won't happen again, and she might fall in love with someone else again. And what if going back six years, she wouldn't have tried to keep the family, but would have divorced right away. But at the same time, he wants to be with me, admires my persistence to keep the family in which I live. In the end, she saw how deeply I love her. What should I do? I don't know. Either make myself believe her, forgive the affair, try to start life as a new family, or... To act as any man in my position would, dedicate my life to the child, because I will not be ready for new relationships anytime soon, and the age is not the same anymore. But I have no doubt that she'll manage to arrange her personal life easily. She's slim, petite, and a stunning woman. They look younger than their age, who even don't sell alcohol without a passport. Men are constantly trying to get acquainted with her, I'm more interested in the advice of those who have experienced such a situation and how everything has developed for them in the future. Write your opinion in the comments below this video. Subscribe to the channel and listen to other stories.